provide you some interesting information about burlap and take you on a tour of my simple burlap garden where I use recycled coffee sacks to grow edibles. It all started when I had an idea to put together an organic gourmet potato kit for my farmer's market booth. It included three kinds of seed potatoes, instructions, and two recycled coffee sacks so folks could grow their own potatoes at home in a natural way. It was a hit and so exciting to make a product that inspired kids and adults to try something new. Burlap is made of fiber from the jute plant. Jute grows in places that get a lot of rain, like Bangladesh and India, very prone to summer monsoons. It grows quickly, in just four to five months it's ready to harvest. To make jute threads, the plant is cut down, bundled, soaked in running river water for about 20 days, and then the inner fibers stripped from the stem. After two to three days drying in the sun, it can be spun into coarse threads, it's ready to be woven into sacks, packaging materials, and rugs. directly on the ground as a rectangle or upright with rolled edges. If you have a patio, some kind of barrier between the bag and the wood, stone, or cement would probably work well to prevent staining. Don't fill these ends, these little ears as I call them that stick out. Tuck those in. Start the seeds inside or in small containers first or buy starts and transplant them into areas of the bag by cutting slits spaced apart. Our sack has chives in it, arugula, and lettuce. And then I have one that has a combination of three types of thyme, German thyme, orange thyme, and I believe common thyme. And then over here, I have some chamomile growing along with some red cabbage, lettuce, Swiss chard, and all I do is lay the sack flat, poke holes in it, and insert my plants. Tarragon, more Swiss chard, oregano, a bunch of spinach, Romaine lettuce. Back around. I'm even growing cucumbers in a sack. Here's the sack, and if I go up my trellis, even though I'm in the shade, I'm causing a problem here. You can see I've got cucumbers growing on top of a little trellis that I put near the sack, and I just train the vines up the trellis so it conserves space. started out as one of those small little strawberry plants you buy at a local nursery. Soil is mounded up inside the sack and if I go back a little bit you can see it's fairly tall. There are several reasons why plants grow well in burlap. Aeration. The weave of the fibers makes it easy for the air to circulate unlike plastic or clay. The burlap retains moisture, but at the same time lets water flow through. Google doesn't need a deep container, and therefore you can you can conserve soil and have it roll down pretty low. Well. Burlap is renewable, sustainable, natural, and biodegradable. The bottoms will rot out quickly. The sides will stay intact like a tube or a tire. Just don't attempt to move the bags after they've been hanging out for a while. You could put something underneath to slow decomposition, but for me, I'm keeping it simple and limiting the materials I'm using. If you don't move the sacks, you can use them for more than one growing cycle. And once you've finally exhausted your burlap container, bury the leftover fabric, use it as mulch or integrate it into your worm bin like I do.
Running in the sand, living on the land. The salty breeze was in our eyes. We stood beneath the dragonflies and danced.